Hello everybody, Reggie Time here and I'm back after a short hiatus making some more videos at the 16 and L zoom tables on PokerStars. I'd like to start this first video, I'm not going to repeat it every video <clears throat> with the caveat that I don't really recommend the, um, losing players and struggling recreational players play these games because I don't think they're particularly profitable but they are good for making videos in and around the stakes that most of the people who subscribe to my channel are playing and um, it's just convenient. Also I'm going to be reducing the length of the videos that I make. No one seems to really want to watch an hour long videos. Some guys do a small amount do but most people tend to drop off watching after maybe between 12 and 20 minutes so we're going to be making the videos <coughs> excuse me around 25 minutes long and I'm hopefully I'm going to be putting them out at a higher frequency because that will hopefully allow me to produce three videos per session rather than play one session for one video so I can maybe just play a couple of sessions a week and maybe get at least four videos from it so that's my hope and that's what we're going to be doing um, please hit the like share subscribe um, please make comments comments um, certainly help videos do well and if you're not a complete prick then please consider joining the Facebook group um, which is linked beneath the videos so yeah um, without further ado we'll shake some tic tacs out and then we'll um, we'll start the session we're just going to be two tabling um, I struggle for tabling at the best best of times and trying to four table whilst commenting is just going to lead to an awful lot of timing out yeah, instantly three bet here seems like four betting seems like a good idea so what's it that's 20 blinds 21 22 23 seems okay <laughs> Not falling, of course, and straight into a flip. We get there. Good start. Here we have the ace and the king, which has missed two over cards. Let's get this hood right. It's going to do me nothing. Um, you can go up there like that, I think. Can you? Let's get all these like, hoods like this. Um not gonna see but the ace king multi way. If it checks through to us again we're gonna make a bet. As it is we're gonna call it's way too good much equity here not to go. We have the good shot, we have the um second up flush draw and two over cards still. We do not get there and we will not be putting any more money in. Do we have enough showdown value here? I mean, we beat some of his ASX, it's just betting the turn. His ASX that we don't beat probably isn't going to fold. Um, so the question is now, can we make a bet and maybe get him to fold down like pocket sevens, pocket eights? And given how the hand's played out, I don't think that's super likely. Certainly wasn't going to fold pocket fives. Just a note on the bet size, we've only got the 2.2. For pre-flop, the rest of just three bet sizes. We're using 2.2 because I want a bit of defend versus more three bets, and the larger we open, typically the larger three bets are, which means we can't defend as easily against them. And then um, we do get three bet quite a bit in these games, so I want to be able to see some flops, particularly in position, and hopefully try and use any pre-flop post-flop skill advantage I have. I don't think there's much advantage pre-flop in these games, especially reg versus reg, but I think there's still some big advantages can be found post-flop, and that's, my, that's what I think anyway. Whether that proves to be true in the long term remains to be seen. Uh, no pair, no draw here. We're going to take a stab on the flop. We don't mind if we get raised. If we get caught, we just give up. And we take it down. Raising the three bet with the 1080 series. Small raise, very small three bet. This is what I was saying. This is why I want to use small raise sizes because. 
lots of players don't use appropriate three bet sizes in my opinion versus small raises they will if they see like a min raise they'll just 3x versus it or whatever or maybe even 2.5x three bet versus it it's just they um they don't do a very good job of denying equity pre-flop or um oh fuck off timing out straight away they don't do a good job of um denying equity pre-flop or from um getting value getting value for their hands pre-flop uh, versus a 3x we're gonna let the jack seven suit it go it could be a call in higher stakes maybe where the rake's less significant but that's really an issue for me i don't really play too much higher stakes 20 nl 30 nl sky occasionally a bit of 30 nl snap by and large um, just a micro stakes player in the kind of middle portion of the micro stakes not the top end of like i think micro stakes extends to what's it 50 now should we say even though 50 is really tough these days i still think it's absolutely considered as micro stakes um, so i kind of am a mid stakes micro stakes player if you will um could three bet here but this guy's playing 16 11 over a small sample and we don't know how we respond to three bets well enough yet because of our sample size so we want a slightly bigger sample on him and he had a higher four to three bet that's definitely a spot where i would be strongly considering pumping it up a little bit certainly going to pump it up here with our two kings as you can see versus the min raise i four x versus the min raise if it's three if he um three x it i probably would have just gone to 10 blinds rather than 12 i wouldn't have four x versus the three x but i'm going to four x versus the two x gonna call this dong bet not really that much point in raising and while he keeps betting this small we're gonna just keep calling and he bet 16 i'm almost tempted to bluff raise here and um, but i just think we have the best hand decent amount we can't really raise for value um he's, if he's got a weak case he's not folding it yeah a sick wow what an awful awful bet that was on the river betting that much he was never folding either we should probably go back and tag that dude as a fish actually that's what we should be doing as a matter of urgency Vavra from the Czech Republic you have been bestowed the green tag I think the opens fine pre calling the three bow position probably isn't great then donking small three streets probably isn't great either <sighs> hope not to get squeezed here and call with the pocket fives on the button do get squeezed which is kind of annoying especially with someone who may be pretty loose aggressive um if we were deeper we could call here but we're not when we're setting 100 blinds deep he's asking us to put an extra 12 blinds in now 11 blinds in something like that 12 blinds which i don't want to do i don't want to be putting 14 big blinds in pre-flop just to set man rake's just too high to be even considering doing stuff i mean i think even in like a lower rake environment it wouldn't be great to do that in a higher rake environment i think you just probably like your money on fire seen too many confirmed fishy pants around just yet yes we need to let our sample size develop a little bit before we can know for sure i don't think these games are like super beatable i would expect my win rate to be between two and four blinds 100 in these games long term as i said at the start of the video I don't necessarily advocate people playing them especially if you're not 
kind of pretty damn good at poker but they are super convenient for making videos and very cost effective because it's just 16 and it doesn't cost me a lot even if I'm losing doesn't cost me a great deal I'm gonna make a small 4-bit bluff with the ace-4 suited here against them my decent no he's played zero hands from 12 up to now probably not going to make a 4-bit bluff there under the gun versus middle position this is typically the type of hand I like to do it with but I think under the gun versus middle position against a player who as yet hasn't put a chip in a pot 3-bet here again it's going to be a common theme that's why I don't play these games a lot because 3-bet and it's not off the charts but it happens at a high enough frequency to piss me off <laughs> There isn't that much flatting pre in these games. And there isn't much you're not really allowed to flat pre much. I mean don't get me wrong, I try. We try to we try to flat pre, but um we're not always allowed to. So we've been checked two on ace six nine. We're gonna fight your three barrels here unless he raises. I think it's king, yeah, I think a lot of weak ace or kings, queens, tens, jacks, that type of thing. <clears throat> Good bet, sir. <laughs> this guy's either misclicked here or he's just absolutely abysmal at bet sizing we need to defend the queen nine off suit versus this size small bit with our good shot wouldn't be at all surprised to see this dude put a check raise in here if he is bad and his sizing preflop was intentional then um, he's very likely to be a fish and be Looking to like be super trappy. It's how often you see fish like some small three bit and then they'll fire up with like a check raise or a bomb C bit one or the other. Um I was guessing it was just a misclick pre flop. Okay, small sample size, played every hand so far. Easy, easy, easy squeeze with the queens. Calling two spots, which is really what we wanted to see. <clears throat> Start with the check. Certainly not going to fold for one bet. Going to continue checking. And I think we can bet this river. May even get some hero calls from ace highs. Here's Jack off suit. Now we're definitely going to squeeze now. Got another player's come along for the ride. Ah, 
that's a good flop for Ace Jack. We like that flop. <clears throat> we are super deep. Which could make life interesting from time to time. Pretty sick if he raised here. Don't think he has a lot of eight nine, but um, it would be uncomfortable. By the way, when you are deep stacked in speed poker games, if you're deep stacked and you are lowish on bankroll or you're not super confident in your win rate, then for my for my money, there's just no no shame in kind of rat holing, leaving the table, coming back just hundred blinds deep again. Obviously, you can't do that at regular tables, um, but it's allowed in speed poker games and I think it's something you should definitely take excuse me something you should definitely take advantage of like if we talk as we talked about you're kind of not super bankrolled or you're um not super confident in your edges because obviously the deeper stacked we play the kind of the better you need to be the more confident you need to be in your in your edge we have a gut shot here It's a multi-way pot. He needs to be pretty strong here. We're going to let the good shot go without any like backdoor flush draws or anything like that. <clears throat> and we lose here to the King Jack. Fair dues. <clears throat> games are so much faster than snap games <clears throat> so much faster we've been doing 20 minutes already got 41 hands in so we're going to be getting somewhere around 500 hands an hour just two table in which it's way more than you get at snap tables we're going to be defending versus this small three bet with the two nines, unless the cold four ball comes in, then we won't be. Check call one bet on this board. <clears throat> Queen isn't a particularly good cat. <coughs> Meanwhile on table two we have a remarkably good flop but there's just literally nothing we can get called by really. We just block everything, we're just gonna check and see if we can induce anything. We also have like a incredibly favourable SPR. Uh, 
and our opponent has A, which really justifies our flop check. <coughs> Not playing these sagging too, doesn't he? Gonna be getting these fish cakes tagged. They are like gold dust in these games, you need to know who they are. I'm gonna play around to our blinds and wrap this video up. Very disappointing flop for Ace King. I mean, another guy's getting tagged as a fish because this is just a bonkers line. Caught three bits out of position, then just pot that flop. It's not something you'd expect anyone who's quite good at poker to be doing. Mm. And there we go, there's the turbo wrapped up video done in 21 minutes. Fuck it, no, we'll go We'll go to 25. Not that three minutes is going to make a lot of difference, I don't suppose. But that's my wife. Three minutes is a long time. We can get a lot done in three minutes. That is for sure. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll be able to come back in the next video because we're going to record the next video straight after this with the same stacks but the workaround I've currently got with Camtasia to keep getting it for free means that sometimes I have to go offline to reboot it to like, put in a put in a code <clears throat> and maybe poker stars will kick me out in that case <clears throat> if they do we'll have to come back with um, 100 blind stacks again which would be a shame Oh, never mind. Oh, we've got some chests too. We've got some chests at the end of the next video, or whatever. <clears throat> Could have three bet the five four suit of riches, but it looks like they're going to be quite aggro. I'm um, not going to start betting just yet. If he checks the turn, we're probably going to bet twice then. <laughs> Bet's full pot here. We have a full straw, but it's not very good. Um. <clears throat> Could consider raising, I guess. How often is he going to bet for the ace, though? Not too likely. If he'd bet smaller, maybe it could have been a play we could have made, but not versus that sizing. He's the play we have tagged as a bit of a donut, so we're definitely going to three bet the jacks versus him. And the pretty big cold 4-bet comes in. I'm going to lay jacks down to a cold 4-bet. Not a situation we want to get the money in. We don't really have that which of a profitable call there and then like call and stack off on favourable boards. Doesn't seem like much of a much of a plan to me. And just getting it in there and if we jam and we get called then we're going to be in rough shape. A lot of the time flipping at absolute best crushed at worst check the queens get a good turn so many draws on this board we're going to go pretty big Two aces would be a nice way to end the video. Flopping a straight flush over here would be an equally nice way to end it. Get 
donked into here we have nothing but some back doors very easy squeeze of course and we're definitely sitting out next big blind mm. that's an interesting flop I'm not that interested, I guess. Given he snap pulled it. And then we've got definitely the end of the video now. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, um, and, and get involved. The more involvement, the better. Um, and the next video is going to be a direct follow-on from this one, but maybe not with the same stack sizes. I hope so. It would be nice to be playing 200 blinds deep. But um, if it isn't, then I'm afraid it isn't. But we'll leave it there for now, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Be lucky. And bye-bye for now.